worked uh, three years ago, and I think it's the first time ever I do uh, a corporate presentation of the company. So this is a new, uh, a new uh, format for me. And not only that, but uh, uh, it's not official. We changed the name. Before, it was called EPDA, and we're launching now also a digital platform. And it will be done in September. So let's keep it uh, among ourselves. Uh, it's not official. And in September, it will be officialized. Um, OK. So what we do is uh, a recent invest. We're a project origination platform, uh, meaning that we source projects for investors. Uh, we do usually uh, the capacity above 20, 50 megawatt, wind and solar mostly, and Asia, Central Asia, Southeast Asia, a bit of Europe, and a bit of Africa. Uh, we, we, we work with selected investors only, so meaning that we don't work with uh, uh, 50 investors. We work so far with less than 10 investors, but developers, we do, uh, you know, we work with everyone. Um, Okay, so uh, well, let's discuss a little bit the market. So, I mean, you know, you know already all that. Um, it's the 1.5 degree scenarios and the uh, carbon budget that we have, meaning that uh, in any case, all scenarios show that renewable energy will drastically increase in order to keep uh, this 1.5 or 2 degree scenario. Uh, so there is no scenario today in the world where in the electricity sector by 2050, Renewable energy is not majority. There is, there does not exist today. And in 2020, there was something very, very special. Uh, we all noticed that the fossil fuel industry, um, you know, they, they decided to somehow recognize um, climate change and uh, officially announced that they are going to change the way they are organized and change their mix. So, for example, Total. Uh, you see they are targeting 40% gas, 40% uh, electricity, and 20% oil, which is roughly, actually, uh, when you look at the International Energy Agency 1.5 degree scenario, which is roughly what, we're, what, what, what we'll have in 2050. So that is a big change because now it means that, you know, there is no, no constraint or, let's say, no... Um, there is still a big trend, right, uh, uh, about, uh, against uh, renewable and energy transition and so on. But frankly speaking, um, it's, it's, it's mostly, now it's difficult, it's well recognized that we need to implement renewable energy uh, massively. So uh, the market, uh, so you see that uh, um, mostly is in China, so 50%, I mean, Everything, 50% is China, basically. So steel, uh, uh, whatever we consume, 50% is in China. Uh, so renewable energy is the same. Uh, wind and solar, 50% of the market is there. And then after you have the US, Europe, and many different markets which are scattered. Uh, so more and more you see gigawatt scale markets, which is interesting because you know, whenever you work in a country, it's no longer 10 megawatt or 50 megawatt to start, etc. Uh, many developers, they do have pipeline of 200 or 300 megawatt um, in, in, in one country. And then that's the m and market, which is what we are targeting uh, Horizon Invest. So as you can see, it's, it's very dynamic. You have uh, 100 billion USD uh, transaction, uh, which means roughly maybe 5,000. This is my personal estimation based on the uh, number of the size of the largest transactions. Um, but to be fair, I don't know the number. So what we do actually, we believe that so for the m and market, you have different players. Today, you have financial advisors. You have also, you as a company, you go look in the market and you do some corporate marketing or you have your connections and so on. So in addition to that, we are bringing, I would say, a kind of new business model, which is an external origination process uh, where, so our company is doing only origination. So we're looking at uh, different markets. Uh, we're looking at uh, regulatory changes, uh, the, where the business is booming, the, profile, the different profile of, uh, of developers, excellent, and so on. And we're trying to identify, the, I would say, not the right transactions, because it depends on the investors, but we know, we understand how 
our selected investors they work, and therefore we try to identify the right transactions for them. So we try to have, uh, although we, we work with a limited number of investors, we're trying to have different profiles, so we don't put them into, in competition, but at least we're trying to cover, uh, I would say, not a large spectrum, but uh, a big portion of what we see in the market. So I, I can give you an example. Uh, Vietnam, uh, you know, having non-recourse financing in Vietnam is very difficult. Uh, so we're trying, so, so we do have investors that can structure non-recourse financing in Vietnam. So there are some, you know, constraints on different markets and we're trying to address that through our uh, investors. So we source projects, meaning that um, we so identify the project, but also we do the preliminary negotiation. So it means that although, you know, we, we are basically, let's say we're selling time for our investors. I mean, our investors, they, they know uh, what we're doing, you know, what, what we do, although we believe that we have a good origination approach, um, they do, you know, origination and they have a team for that, uh, which is doing also project development and so on. So what we do is actually we bring projects which are already screened and pre-negotiated. So whenever we start to discuss with uh, developers, you know, we, we're, we're trying to involve our investors, you know, at, at a, in a second stage. At the beginning, you will see us and we're trying to, and we will review your project, uh, look at the financial model, uh, do some scenarios, discuss the preliminary uh, acquisition framework, maybe milestone, price, and so on. And then once we believe that there is a good chance that uh, we can close the transaction, uh, then, you know, the, the investor will come and we will finalize the negotiation. I mean, finalize meaning that you will start the negotiation uh, to sign the term sheet. Uh, so the term sheet are the preliminary commercial terms uh, of the acquisition or co-development, we do both. Uh, and then after due diligence and share purchase agreement. So deal packaging, which is the process I explained. Uh, finding investors, meaning that we, you know, we are trying to match the investor, the right investor with the right transaction. Uh, and then assistance in the negotiation. So we, we are going to, we will support both parties. So we do support, so also we are paid by the investor in gener generally, we support both the investor and the, the vendor. So it's a bit, you know, different from a, a pure financial advisor uh, because, you know, the, the, you may think that, okay, he's paid by the investor, so the guy is for the investor. Uh, but no, uh, not at all. And, and we have a price which is in dollar per megawatt, by the way, to avoid any kind of, oh, maybe he's making more money if the return, etc. cetera. Uh, so we, we have this structure, uh, and we do support both because, and we like to be seen as some kind of neutral uh, because uh, that's how we help, actually, the transaction to close. So, you know, the, I, I summarize here how we work. So, we work only with selected investors. Uh, we work with all developers. I mentioned the, the, the region, the size. And so now, regarding the, you know, is it, is it interesting, this process? Because, you know, you, you can actually appoint a financial advisor, go in the market, and, and do a tender, et cetera, et cetera. So, what we have seen is that uh, we reduce drastically the moment when we hear about the project and start the discussion, and we sign the term sheet, some of the transactions are like three weeks. So you can't beat that. It's, it's really fast, or even with very large transactions. But then after, during the due diligence, it's the same as, as all projects. Now, what we have seen also is that for now, but we are a young company, so I would say it's the success of the beginner, right? 90% um, of the term sheet we have signed as translated into SPA. So that is very important for us. Our goal is not to, you know, bring the more, 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 more projects to our investors. That's you know, definitely not our approach. Is to bring projects that can be translated into first term sheet, and then after SPA. The more projects we, we bring, and the less we have term sheet signed, then it means it's a failure for us, which is different for developers, because you, you as a developer, you have mostly a success rate of maybe 20%, something like that. So you develop more, more, more projects, and then there is 20%. Our origination, if we do that, then we are useless in the market. 
Um, so that's uh, a slide that probably you can't read. Um, it's about uh, the digital platform uh, that is uh, not officially launched. Um, so, so what we're trying to do here is that, you know, the origination process so far is a bit, um, I would say, it's not industrialized at all. So everyone is doing uh, what, what they, how they feel. Uh, you discuss with governments, you uh, discuss uh, through your network and so on. So what we are going to, we, we'll try, we'll try. I don't know if our investors will do that. Uh, we'll use this platform. We are going to force them, actually, to use this platform. Um, so so we'll, we'll, we'll try uh, to at least speed up this process to have a dashboard. So investors, they will have their dashboard. They will see, okay, reminders. Please don't forget to sign the NDA, you know. Uh, they will have uh, deal rooms. So they can click on their rooms, then they can see their project, etc. So it's kind of saving time for our investors. It's a tool for the negotiation and for their organization, their workflow, uh, rather than a pure platform, which is a marketplace. And there are few players like that in the market. Uh, I think there are three or four. Uh, I mean, we don't believe that you can close deal uh, digitally. And so uh, uh, I believe you, you, you can't do that. Uh, so it's more uh, a negotiation, a support for the negotiation. So this slide that is same, I think it's, you can't understand that. Um, but it shows, you know, somehow uh, what it looks like. So you have your dashboard on the, on the left side. You have some numbers, so like uh, how many deal rooms you have, uh, uh, how many reminders, etc. I mean, it's, the goal is that instead of having a million WhatsApp in the negotiation, Maybe we'll have 800,000. You know, that's, that's basically the goal. So uh, you have also a, project, a, a list of projects which, are, which will be available to all members of the platform. So these are, we invite investors in the deal room. So we decide who to invite. The, uh, you as an investor, uh, investors, they cannot accept, uh, accept, access a project uh, by themselves. We need to uh, show the deal room and say, OK, click on the link and so on. But we, do, we will have one marketplace for projects which we like, but we don't know what to do with them. So either they are a bit outside of our scope, typically hydro. We do have a lot of good hydro projects, but uh, we, don't, we don't have the expertise and we don't know what to do with them. But also sometimes from uh, uh, technology uh, investment or corporate, etc., uh, we find good transactions and uh, we, we just will put that uh, in, in an uh, open list for members. Uh, and, you know, if they are interested, they can uh, process. Uh, well, so how, you know, so have we been successful uh, so far? So in two years, we, we closed 207 megawatts in five different countries. Um, so we have uh, one with Total Eren, uh, 72 megawatts in Cambodia. Uh, this is our largest uh, transaction so far. Um, in India, also 34 megawatts solar. Uh, Amea Power, actually, um, we, we work with them. Uh, we brought the Burkina Faso deal, uh, 26 megawatts, which is closed now. Uh, in Italy, also a, a greenfield project. And uh, our friends from uh, SunGrow, also, uh, we won uh, 50 megawatt wind tender in Kazakhstan. And beginning of the year, also, we signed a joint development agreement uh, in uh, West Africa, and I cannot disclose uh, more than that, actually, uh, for 40 megawatts uh, plus battery. Uh, so in our pipeline, so this year, we, we, so we signed a term sheet uh, in India, 162 megawatts, and we are also working on 800 megawatt uh, wind, plus we have a couple of transactions, I would say, maybe this year, 1.3 gigawatt we have. So when I said 1.3 gigawatt is our active transactions where hopefully we'll try to sign the term sheet, okay? Uh, but one already is, is signed. So what we see is that the size of, the, of our transactions uh, clearly is increasing, uh, and, and we are actually uh, in transactions which are, uh, you know, big size with big players, uh, which may be also for financial advisors, but it's, it works well with some players. Um, okay, and then so what well, are some clients that we uh, were working with? Our strategic partners. So, so we have a strategic partnership with Total Eren. Uh, we are uh, good friends of them. 
Uh, we love them. Uh, and uh, we are working fine with them. Um, we have a lot of transactions with them. Uh, and we receive a couple of awards. Uh, and our two partners, Arena Coalition for Action and DII Desert Energy. And that's it. And uh, it was non-official, so if uh, somebody uh, asks you about uh, Horizon, say, it's September, it's September. But uh, still, you can contact us if you have projects or if you're interested in our concept. Thank you.